Y'all, Kenya Moore cannot remember where she got married, okay? She cannot remember where she got married. We got some tea on the Atlanta reunion. And then we're going to be talking about Miss Tammy Rivera. And she wants a threesome. And then why the fans are dragging her. Get into this. Well, he's I'm not putting him in the <laughs> Okay, yes. Yeah, he can come right on to the top. Oh. What's up, y'all? It's your boy, Richie Scott, back with another video and back with this good tea right here, boy. You know, we spilling tea and we drinking it, too. We got this good detox tea down in the comment section and in the description below so you guys can go ahead and get yourself some, get healthy and get fit. Um, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell button so that you don't miss anything that's going on on this channel. And also sign up to my texting community. I did gift two of my good Sky Squad members who have joined my community uh, $50 today via Cash App just because they made me feel good. I'm going to tell you the truth. Just because I wanted to spread a little positive energy. So shout out to Kevin and Barbara. Uh, I am really appreciative of you guys both. And that is just my way of saying thank you for being such positive people and just sending great, inspiring text messages. Um, now, let's go ahead and dive into what we got to talk about today with regards to Miss Kenya Moore, okay? Now, I don't understand why it is that she cannot remember where she got married, okay? But we're going to break it down for you. We're going to discuss it right before we get into that good Real Housewives of Atlanta reunion tea and then into that discussion about Tammy Rivera, okay? Let's, let's, let's go ahead and get into it. So let's take it back to the beginning, okay? Y'all know in this past week's episode of the Real Housewives of Atlanta, Wendy Williams and Nene Leakes were having a conversation about Miss Kenya Moore. And Wendy Williams was trying to give Nene some advice about how to handle Kenya Moore moving forward, okay? So Nene Leakes then went on a tangent where she said that Kenya had a handshake and agreement with Mark Daly and paid him to have a baby, okay? She also alleged that Brooklyn is not biologically related to Kenya, okay? She said it was Mark's sperm and some eggs that they bought or found out of the country somewhere. That's why the baby looks so much like him, okay? Now, here's the thing. Kenya Moore then did an interview with Extra TV, okay? And she basically refuted everything that Nene was saying. Now, she said that she said, yes, I'm legally married. I have my marriage certificate. I have witness. She's basically calling pretty much everyone in Turks and Caicos a lie. My family a lie. I just think that she crosses lines. She's a vile person and kids are off of the limits. OK, so I was. You know, I was sitting around and I was looking at, I was, because I always, you know, scroll some of my favorite sites all about the tea. Thank you so much for this. And what they pointed out to me was that, and reminded me was that Kenya Moore was actually married in St. Lucia and not the Turks and Caicos. So then I said to myself, well, I was thinking like, I was like, well, maybe, maybe she forgot or maybe she was maybe they're so close in proximity that she maybe mistakenly said it in error, okay, on national television. Maybe that's what happened. So then I said, well, self, how far is Turks and Caicos from St. Lucia, okay? Now, it looks to be about 900 miles, okay, from St. Lucia to Turks and Caicos, okay? No ferries are available for that distance, okay? Now, for other people who work in kilometers, okay, it's 1,434 kilometers, okay? So, there's a little bit of a distance here, as you can see from an easy Google search, okay? So, for me, as I look back on her statement, when she's saying she's basically calling pretty much everyone in Turks and Caicos a lie, my family a lie, I just think that she crosses lines. She's a vile person and kids are off limits, which I do agree that the kids should be off limits. What I don't understand is for a woman who is so hard pressed for us to, um, to really sort of buy into this whole marriage with Mr. Mark Daly, I don't really get why she would make that critical error on national television. Here is why I say that. Now, regardless of whether or not she ever produces a marriage license or anything of that nature, you know, for me, she don't have to. I'm not going to be the person that is looking around and hunting and scouring the internet 
for a marriage license or certificate or whatever you need in order to get married, okay, at this point in time, right? I'm not gonna do that. If she says she's married, I'm just gonna go ahead and let her roll with that because, in her, listen, if it's legal or not legal, she says that she's married and I'm done with it, right? But my problem is that when you fail to remember where you got married on television, it makes you look bad, right? It makes you look like this is all a scheme that Todd set up to come to us with the BS. You know what I'm saying? So I just kind of feel like she didn't really do herself any favors with this whole situation. And she also made this critical error on national television. Or maybe she actually did get married in Turks and Caicos and not St. Lucia, okay? Listen, I, I don't know. I know that they're, they're spatially in the same region of the ocean, okay? But at the end of the day, I'm going to need you to correctly state in interviews where you got married, okay? Because those are two distinct locations, okay? Two distinct places, right? So for me, I want to know what you guys think about this. Do you think that this makes her a liar? Do you think that she just forgot an error? And I'm really hoping to hear from Kenya Moore fans, like people who are just diehard Kenya Moore fans, who really, you know, just defend her at every turn. I would love to hear what you guys have to say about it because for me, I'm not coming to a I'm not coming from a place of I don't like Kenya Moore. I'm coming from a place of what's going on. Okay? What's really happening here? What's going on? I just want to know, what should we, I mean, help us out here. Anyway, um, moving right along. Y'all know the Real Housewives of Atlanta reunion went down yesterday. Now, we talked a little bit about this in yesterday's video, where we also talked about the pushback of the Real Housewives of Potomac, okay? Now, we've gotten some good word about some things that are going on in the reunion. Now, as of filming this video, I've gotten quite a few different things from different people about what actually went down, right? Um, here's what Andy had to say. Hey everybody, I'm about to do the Atlanta reunion. Um, I, I washed it, I put some stuff in it. I think it's a little better, I trimmed it. It's not great, but I think the beard is a little better. We're, Portia said that I don't look so orange today. So I'll take it. Well guys, we just wrapped the Real Housewives of Atlanta reunion. It's nine o'clock. Even though it was virtual, it was as epic as every Atlanta reunion has been. Here are my cards, I'm putting them in the garbage. I'm going to get some tequila. I'm turning out the lights and I will have you know, I'm not wearing pants still. So as you guys may know, Andy Cohen did film in his boxers. Um, we can see that Miss Yovana was also in attendance. And I am told that she really brought it at the reunion as well. Um, and as you guys know, she and Nini are not necessarily on good terms at the moment, according to her, based on the interview that she did with Behind the Velvet Rope. I think I said that correctly. If not, I'll put it in the link in the description so that you guys can actually go back and watch or listen to that podcast that she did. And you guys can hear more about exactly what her issue is with Nini Leakes. Now, I'm hearing that it was very explosive. Candy, text us all if you are a part of Candy's texting community and let us know that it was an entire mess, okay? Which I expected it to be. And then Andy also tweeted out that he is now hungover from what was a night of drinking after an epic reunion, okay? So for me, this excites me because I'm thinking to myself, it's good to know that even though this was done virtually, that the ladies still brought it, okay? So now I want to move on to this whole situation with Tammy Rivera revealing to the ladies of the uh, Lip Service podcast that she is hoping or was hoping to have a threesome 
with Waka Flocka, okay? So let's get into it. And for me, as you guys know, reality TV stars, I love talking about reality TV, you know, because um, I love watching it and these are my favorite people. These are my friends in my head, okay? So when I'm giving advice, please understand y'all, when I'm giving advice, I am not coming from a place of malice. I am coming from a place of these are my friends in my head, okay? Now, with regards to that, Tammy Rivera has been slammed for saying that she wants a menagerie, okay, with Waka and some other girl, okay? Here's what she had to say, all right? She says, I'm the more open one, like the one who's more free. People would think it's Waka, but it's me. I'd be down for a threesome. If he would give me one B, he won't give me one. I think it's so selfish because, Negro, you had your fun. You had your whole career. You had three and four Bs. You had your whole little fun. And I've been at home get, being a good little wife, okay? Now, then she added that she would have to be the one to pick the woman to be involved in their good menagerie. Now, okay, the Instagram people, they went off on the gram, okay? They were saying things like, now, Tammy, you know doggone well you will fold like a chair at a picnic on the 4th of July. Another person said this. She would crumble if he actually gave her one. He's saving you, sis. Another person said, no, Tammy. No, ma'am. You do not want that life. Do not play with the gates of H-E double hockey sticks. You don't have, you, you're not, you have to be built for certain things. And this ain't one of them. Rebuke it. A fourth IG user simply said this. He want to cheat alone. Okay. Let's talk about it real quick because y'all know I love relationships and relationship talk and stuff like that. You know, I don't I don't consider myself a therapist or anything like that, but I do consider myself somebody with experience. And from my experience, what I'm going to tell y'all is this. Threesomes in relationships, to me, they don't work unless you want to be in a throuple, right? So unless she is wanting to open her relationship to the idea of a throuple, and what I mean by a throuple is three folks in a relationship, okay? However y'all choose to make it work is how y'all choose to make it work. But the idea of a threesome, which means an intimate um, experience with you, your person, your, your, your partner, and somebody else that you adding in there. Now see, to me, Tammy, no, okay? This man, if he is walking the straight and narrow at this point, please either let him cheat over there in secret, okay? Or if he's on the straight and narrow, let him just be with you and celebrate you. All these years, we have seen you on reality TV and you and one of the storylines is that you have been wanting this man to be faithful and to put you first. And now that he is, you upset about it. I don't really understand that. You, if you, if he is at a point in his life where he is settling down and he is trying to be just good to you, let him just be good to you. Because the moment you start to tempt him with another woman is the moment that you are going to regret it. And that is my firm belief. Okay. Because why, that's like, why don't you just, that's like taking an alcoholic, a recovering alcoholic and baptizing them in bourbon. Why would you do that? Okay. Why would you do that? Let him live. Just you and him do your thing together because when y'all start in adding in all these extra people, okay, because technically you was in a threesome a long time ago, okay, you just didn't know it. You was a third party, you didn't know. So at this point in time, hey, celebrate the, the where your marriage is now. Live it to the fullest. Get be freaky as you want to together. You know what I'm saying. Enjoy your time together. Hang from the chandeliers. Add some food and some handcuffs to the mix and stuff like that. Keep it spicy the way the rest of us do. You know what I'm saying? But that's just my thoughts. Y'all let me know down in the comments section. Feel free to go off if you want to. I'm interested in reading your opinions. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell button. So I will see you guys in the next video.